Y'all, that Diddy video with Cassie got me like real down in my spirit. It got me very, 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 very triggered. Um, this definitely wasn't on the bingo cards of 2024. When Cat Williams said everybody was going to be exposed, I knew stuff was going to be coming, but... It really, really triggered me. Like, we knew. I ain't gonna sit up here in front. We knew that man was on shen shenanigans. We even laughed at some of the shenanigans that he did, you know, when he did uh, um, foolishness with making the band and the way we knew that he kind of like threw his weight around in a room and how he was talking to people. But I mean, even as a teenager, I mean, he created a whole era of music that like is ingrained, like, in my mind for certain times in my life. I remember seeing him performing. I'm the him is Diddy. Brother Love. Diddy Papa Puff Daddy. Whatever the hell his name is right now. Um people knew something was wrong when he was in the hot tub with me Misha or Amisa, sorry. Um people knew something was wrong with the stuff with Kim. Um it's just that a lot of times in our community, we let stuff slide because people have money. Um, and also, I saw people dragging Cassie. Like, we have a bad habit of victim blaming. It it, it gets really ugly. Um, cause why did you wait so long? Why did you wait so late? Like, not knowing how the, the criminal system works and how half of the stuff, when it's tied, not tied to unaliving somebody, that the statute of limitations... Uh, expires half the time they don't believe you you don't have enough money for her to, to fight the system but baby when I saw that girl trying to get on that elevator and that man snatch snatch her back and then get to basically putting his hands and feet and jolly stomping her and then grab drag her stuff back and oh my god throwing that vase and he they paid somebody fifty thousand dollars allegedly to get rid of the tape so somebody saw that Aubrey O'Day was trying I remember watching making the band with Danny Kane I remember Aubrey O'Day had a problem but we when we were younger we assumed maybe they had fooled around and and something like like a lover's quarrel we when she made the insinuation she made which she didn't turn him in either she just made insinuations which is what people usually do when they can't really do anything about it we as teenagers or young adults we thought okay maybe it's a some bad blood because of a lover's quarrel or whatever i'm even in me like i i love um R. Kelly's music, but I distinctly remember in college, people, like in in a call in my college age or whatever, um, people knowing that tapes existed, they knew the man pulled up to the schools, they knew everything he was doing. Nobody did a thing. Nobody did a thing. Everybody turned and looked away. Now, when the stuff with Diddy came out, which I'm like I said, I'm very frazzled with even talking about this. Um, so many people came out to defend him. Oh, they're just trying to take a black man down. All this other stuff. Um, you know, I heard, <laughs> I'm not even going to say somebody I'm shocked was like feeling sorry about his place getting raided and stuff. But then maybe I might not be shocked. Y'all wonder why people choose the bear. My son was telling me, he said, I guess the, the the black man equivalent was when <laughs> would you choose a bear versus a lady law enforcement officer? And I remember seeing some of them in action, especially against melanated men and putting extra force in because they wanted to prove a point. So none of this is lost upon me. But back to what we were talking about. <sighs> People are all supposed to be different. Everybody has their own experiences. But seeing that video, I don't care how old it is. Um, 
made, made me flash back to my experiences, made me flash back to when I had to defend people or when people saw things happening and they uh, turned away, um, family members, uh, friends. It happens to so many people and people are more embarrassed that it happened to them or they're mentally touched and they keep going back to the situation and embarrassed that they can't explain why when we all know there's some mental stuff behind that. And I know so many people were triggered. If they're using this as a ploy to distract us from something else, I don't know where the tape came from or whatever. I really don't give a damn. I, I, I really don't. It's just wrong. And anybody's still standing up for I heard people saying that maybe she was stealing and he snatched her back. They was together all that time. So she, if she was stealing something, I don't think that's the way that would have been handled by a normal human being. And then there's Carisha. Young Miami. Who was coming about after the that lady Gina who said that the, um he put hands and feet on her and and calling a girl a an eater and saying that I'll make him I'll I'll make him make you eat whenever because you a eater. Like what is going on, y'all? Don't get me started on Dr. Dre. I mean, I listen to his music too. It's ma- majority of the people, uh, ma- majority of our fa- faves are just trash human beings. Do you separate separate the creativity from the human? I mean, that's what we most of the time. I mean, if we really start thinking about all these people, there's not many people that are clean. And guess what? It doesn't make it okay. And I also was talking to my son. My son was talking to me. He was like, I heard that unaliving somebody, well, taking somebody's cookies is worse than unaliving somebody. I used to be with a, a, a law enforcement person and he made it make total sense. It's like you unalive the person and they're still walking around. Their spirit is stolen. You took their soul, but they still walking around. You took their self-esteem, but they still walking around. All those type of crimes. They turned it into a whole show SVU, but you're they basically unalived you, but you're still walking around. You're never the same. So I'm not going to say people don't lie. I'm not going to say there there aren't people who are false accusing. But the way that everybody turns on these victims or saying they're waiting too long, from experience, I know that that is BS. So if you were touched by that video like I was and you need some emotional support, go, go get some help. Like I'm genuinely frazzled right now. I'm frazzled. I'm, yeah. It's not good. Like I said, I've been touched on, on, on all parts of my life with this type of situation. And it's not. And no, I'm not finna cry on the internet. I don't do that. <laughs> but it's just, you got a lot to keep from crying. He kept saying that time was going to prove his innocence, baby, that 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 whole post did not age well. You won't take. But y'all gonna say that they AI'd him drop kicking that lady like like the movie enough? Like like that the husband in enough with Jennifer Lopez. And don't get me started, but what they said that, that they he had Kim Porter do with some feminine products of Cassie's. I'm just disgusted right now. I'm disgusted. Y'all go get some support. Be safe. I love y'all. Bye.